Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. <clears throat> in the last episode we did the MXR Distortion Plus uh, and then we also I did a specific episode where we just tried a, different, a few different diodes uh, to see how that affected the signal. I was going to make the fuzz phase now to go way back in time and do the, one of the first ways of getting distortion for guitars. Uh, turned out that I needed really old uh, transistors for that, germanium transistors, and I didn't have that, and they are super expensive to buy, so I didn't feel that was uh, worth it. I have a few other that's supposed to work uh, that are a bit newer uh, and not that expensive. We'll see. Uh, it will come in the future in that case. But while looking for other designs using modern day uh, transistors, I ran upon this circuit show or super hard on, uh, which is a really simple uh, circuit based around a BS170. It seemed like a lot of people use kind of this uh, schematics and then they add different ones or they chain them and stuff like that. So I thought that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show how to build one of these. We're going to look at uh, or s hear what it sounds like and then uh, let's build a few more and see uh, how it sounds. That's the plan. So before we do that I'd like to say thank you to my Patreons. Uh, you are the ones who help me have this channel uh, so I can do all these uh, episodes and experiments and do the things I do here so thank you very much for that you are amazing uh, so let's go and see where I found the schematics and let's build it and yeah let's go like so many times before I can't really explain how I found this specific schematics uh, it could be that I looked through my transistor bin and found the BS170 lying there and I did a search on that. Uh, either that or it was just a lucky thing that I had the BS170 in my uh, a bag, newly bought bag, so these are available right now to buy. Um, so I found this on superfreak.com and link in the description. Uh, some blog talk about CVEX distortion and they talk about that and I was looking through things here box of MOSFET uh, talking again about the BS170 uh, the first stage is a show and there's also the BNR includes a show booster They're everywhere uh, show everywhere <laughs> and then I stopped here when I saw sycophant. For one thing I find that was a cool word. Uh, the other one was that it, I, this simple circuit, this looks so simple. Um, you have the BS170 there in the middle, a diode and a crackle free knob. Apparently that would then be a problem with other shows. Um, so this was so simple I thought I could build this. I did uh, find another one. I think I followed a link to look at the Zvex box of rock uh, and saw that so here you have a BS170, BS170, BS170 and BS170. Um, and this circuit down here and this one looks very similar to the one uh, uh, on here, the sycophant, and then these, I think these were tone controls or boosters or something of some kind, he, he talks about it, uh, I believe, up here somewhere. Uh, but uh, so they have two in line with each other, I think, so that's where I got the idea to see what happens if we add two of these after each other. So let's build one first to see if it sounds any different at all and we'll continue from there. Alright so 
first of all, here's the uh, the circuit, the fuzz face with just normal silicone transistors. Doesn't work at all. Just forget that one. Here's the show stage. Um, so this little circuit here and this is actually quite interesting so here we have a very nice sine wave and when we turn this up uh, let's see if we can hold this you get a really interesting curve here so from a really nice sine wave like that to this is uh, quite a drastic change I think so I'm gonna make one and then we uh, plug it in ser series with this one and see how that sounds all right I have another circuit over here uh, that I've built now and very nice sinus wave and I think this curve is very similar to the one over there so what happens now if we go back here and we take the output signal from this one into this one yes like that and then output from this one so let's look at the sinus wave here now it's starting to look like something so this is basically just this curve going in there it looks like that And that's sinus that and let's see what happens yeah so now we have a really jagged curve here so I would say this is quite nice to have two of these uh, two of these on the same board it's a bit crackly so a nice shaped wave there it's not a sinus anymore. Let's try with something else. And when I say something else, I of course mean the TB303. So here we have it quite clean through these two uh, stages. Sounds like a 303. Quite a, let's remove some resonance there. So let's uh, turn the filter up, or the distortion up. Here is, you have quite a big, lot of drive. And here's a lot of crunch. So this is just one stage. So let's leave this at max and let's turn the other one up. Actually, let's, let's twiddle the filter a bit. This is harsh. Alright, next one.
So a really, really interesting uh, circuit, which I think I'm now going to make two on one and make it switchable so I can either use one or two. And after that, let's maybe put three and see what happens. So now here we have it, second stage. Just like before, let's just add a third stage and uh, see what that does. So third stage. Now this is, we have a lot of uh, distortion glitchy things right now. I have to make another one, don't I? So I managed to do something with my music computer so I can't record this uh, without me speaking. Uh, so we have to live with the microphone audio for this. So here we now have three SHO shows uh, super hard-ons uh, in a panel. And as you can see it is quite a nice sinus curve. So we just pull up the first two ones and we make it the more interesting thing with having a sequencer. Already quite quite jagged there. So let's take the third one. Now we don't have very much of a sinus curve left here. Quite a lot of noise here. The last few millimeters of the last pot. They give a different uh, parts of the noise each. The first first stage is that kind of noise. The second stage is that one. And the third one is just multiplying this or uh, amplifying it.
I think the three together is quite a good combo actually you, to get this really nasty sound and I'm not gonna add a fourth one but just for the fun of it of course we're gonna connect this one as well and just see what happens of course we need to do that And the fourth one. Oh, I can't but think that this is nice. I do like noise from time to time. <laughs> Not much of a melody left though. Not very useful. And from a from a waveform changing uh, point of view, this is quite amazing. But I'm gonna leave it at three, so uh, I say this is good enough. I'm gonna make a good panel for that as well. So whether you think we built a really complex uh, noise machine, or if you like this kind of screeching uh, sound that the show or the show stages the thing we built uh, this has probably nothing to do with the original uh, show as such but uh, I like the thing that you can just build up uh, more and more and more uh, in stages um, and the screeching sound does have its uh, place uh, I guess maybe not super useful in all situations but um, still I uh, I like this I do uh, so um, yeah w another episode has come to an end uh, fuss face next time or something completely different we'll see if the transistors arrive in time or not until next time take care Bye.